As said, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail uh, how to perform a vertical lookup uh, within Microsoft uh, Excel. Okay, so uh, ver the vertical lookup, uh, the function name is called VLOOKUP. It's a special function that we have in Excel. Uh, and what that function allows us to do is allows us to search table, okay? allows us to search a particular table of values or let's say of records okay and allows us to look up a specific value okay in that particular table okay and to extract a piece of information that's associated with that particular value from the table that we've looked into okay now the important thing about the lookup function is this is that the keys okay the values you need to look up okay need to be specified as the first column of data in the table that we're looking into okay that's important so for example if i want to look up some values in this particular table here okay if i want to look up some values in this table here okay well the only values that i can actually look up are the values that have been specified in the first column so i can actually look up student numbers in this table and i can extract any other piece of information from the table like the student number the student name or even the age okay uh, but the important thing is the things that i want to look up must be listed in the first column of the table that I'm looking into. Okay. So, with that said, another important thing is that our table is ordered based on the data that appears in our first column. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here, first of all, is I'm just going to order the data. Okay. So, I'm just going to select all of the values in this particular table. And I'm going to go to the data ribbon in Excel, the data ribbon, and I'm going to select sort. And what I'm going to tell Excel is I would like to sort this data, okay, sort by column and the name of the column in this case. Actually, well, you can see actually what's had to happen. I never highlighted the, the I never highlighted uh, the, 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 uh, the, the labels associated with the columns. So maybe I'll actually just do that first, okay? So let me just cancel this. So I'm going to select from student number all the way down here, okay? I'm going to say sort, uh, and I'm going to sort based on student number. Okay. And I'm sorting them from smallest to largest. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And what that did was it sorted all the data, but it kept all the record information together. Okay. So it sorted off the student number, but the record information was all, I suppose, uh, kept, kept, kept contiguous in one piece. Okay. Uh, so now what I have over here is, actually the reason why we sort is to make the lookup function a little bit more, more uh, uh, optimal. Okay, in relation to the algorithm that has to run in the that has to run in the background. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, the values I'd like to look up is I'd like to look up these three student numbers in this particular table, and I'd like to extract out the names that are associated with them student numbers. For example, I'd like to look up one four three five five. Where is that? That's actually here. It's the second one, one four three five five. And I'd like to extract out the name, which is in this case Christine Ward. Okay. I'd like to look up 219427, uh, 219427 is here, and I'd like to extract out the name, which is Mariah Hayes. We could also extract out the age and so on if we wanted to, but we'd have to do a separate lookup for that particular for them particular values. So let's let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, the lookup value, I'm going to say uh, this is equal to, uh, I'm going to call VLOOKUP, so it's VLOOKUP, look, okay? And this particular function, okay, takes a number of parameters. You can see that the first one is the lookup value that we want to look up. Actually, I want to look up this value in this particular table here. So I'm just going to select that first. And you see it's still highlighted here as bold, it's bold blue. But then I'm going to press comma, and now you can actually see what's that being highlighted is the table array. So we need to put in the values that are associated with the table. So I'm going to select, no, I don't select the headings here or the headers. I'm going to select from this cell down to the last cell here and you can actually see that the range for the table C6 which is here is after is going to be uh, from C6 to E16 so C6 to E16 is from here to here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a comma again and now it's asking me okay if we do find this particular value in this particular table's first column what value would you like to extract from the table okay what column value would you like to extract 
Well, if I find 143555, which is here, I'd like to extract uh, the second value in that particular table, which is the student's name. Okay. So actually what I'm going to put in here is I'm just going to put in two for the student's name to extract the student's name. Yeah. Okay. That's column two. The value in column two is going to be extracted. And then finally it has, well, the range lookup. In this case, I'm just going to put false here. This has got to do with whether with whether we're matching cases and things like that. But actually at this stage, we'll just, we'll just hit false. And that's it. Okay. So let me hit return. And you can actually see what's after doing is that's going through this table. I went to 14355 and I selected Christian Word. Okay. Now what I could do is I could drag this particular, uh, this particular function and apply it down this particular column. But it's important that we keep this, the table absolute, okay? Uh, in other words, that's stationary. So actually, let me just go back into this function, and what I'll do is I'll wrap up the column, the column labels in dollar signs to keep them fixed, so that when I do drag down the function, okay, that it doesn't change. So what I'll do now is I'll just apply the function down. And you can actually see that 135950, 135950 is Jennifer Conroy, that's there. 219427 is Mariah Hayes, that's here. And 14355, 14355 is Christine Ward, which is has been selected, okay? Has been extracted from the table. Now, obviously, when you're doing a vertical lookup, you're going to probably have a lot more information. You're going to have a lot more records maybe thousands of records, and a lot more variables, a lot more columns, yeah, okay? And that's where the VLOOKUP or the vertical lookup comes into its comes into its own. Okay, so guys, uh, once again, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was somewhat helpful and intuitive. And once again, thanks for your time.